Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to take you all to a bridge which is called Water Bridge. This bridge is located in Germany, the city of Magdeburg. Here you can see a city, I mean a map of that city and overview of the surrounding area of this bridge. So the overall, the bridge, how the br bridge will look like, you can see this is a picture, this is a map. So you have one water going underneath and the other one is coming up from the top of that bridge and this bridge is basically used for good transport. So we are here at the site. This is the information how long and how width, I mean the, the dimension of this bridge. This is an overall structure from the side view I can say. These are some banks, obviously this one is not available in here. If we go to further down, we can see this side, I mean this one. And uh, this is also uh, some kind of a view. Here you have some information, the length is 85 meter. You can see width is 12 meter and the height of this bridge is 10.45 meter. From 10.45 meter to 18. Point 4, 6 meter. Okay, there is other information about this bridge and this is the area of that bridge and as you can see here this is a cross section cross section of this area you can see here is written in German this is a cross section of this area this is a surrounding surrounding of this bridge here we have a very beautiful village uh, I'm not really sure what is the name of this village and you can see this is a bank, a kind of dam, I, I would say. It's very secure, so I mean, if any flood comes in, the people who are living near this bridge, they could stay or they, can, they could live very safe. And here we have some, you know, the, the banks of this bridge. These are steel walls. So basically, these steel walls to stop infiltration of water getting into this surrounding population okay so this is some kind of equipment for any maintenance or any other things okay the actual bridge starts from here this is starting point of that bridge the area which i have just shown this one there's no bridge on here this is just a normal level of the water or something the actual bridge start from this point as you can see here we have one pillar another pillar these signs are for the starting points of this bridge and you can see far and you have other two pillars uh, I can see they are not actually two they are four well I am standing far away from that pillars so let's uh, go to other side of the bridge and see how it looks like so I have my friends they are as you can see they are down and they are walking around so this is the bridge from the side I am stepping down going down and uh, will show you this is a proper way basically this bridge has multiple benefits first they can transport goods the other thing is a beauty beauty of this city for example and then at the same time this site can be presented as a tourist spot for everybody you know people who comes to visit the city this is one of the best site so you can come and see the main thing about this area or this bridge is it's like quite green area cultivated area we have so many cultivation I and mean, so many crops they grow so the water of this bridge could be used for these crops but often these practices cannot be seen here in in Magdeburg because this area is uh, receives so many rains okay so I am actually down so this is the date from 1998 to 2003 I think this is the time when they built this bridge but I'm not really sure so this is the other structures you know it's a pass through for maintenance so people who walk through and here you have some kind of as you can see is I would say they use some rubber or something to stop water infiltrating from down or up for example so 
here is the actual structure of the bridge. So this whole bridge holding water and it's very airtight or not airtight. Yes, you can say airtight or watertight. So nothing can be infiltrated downward. So it's, it's fully dry area under this bridge. So I cannot say and I cannot see anything that that water of the bridge coming down on the floor. No, it's, it's completely dry. And the other thing, there is a bicyclist path. So people can come by a bicycle. They can, you know, ride their bike to visit this area. And here you have a kind of siphon. I can, I can see. So it's a water, if the extra water in the case of flood, if the water comes in here, that water pass through to this area and go to the other canals or other small channels. So you can see we have three pipes here, the big pipes. So water can pass through from here. And uh, this is a village area. I was just standing up in, uh, just a bit ago. I just came down and uh, now we are heading to other side. I think we might have to go that side rather than going to the side where I am going now. Okay. Uh, yes, I am here. Other side of the bridge. It's not other side. Actually, it's very close to the bridge. You can see here. And uh, we have these arcs. It's number three. And you have number four. I don't know how many these are. Till other end of this bridge. There are some people who are also making some videos. And people who are visiting this area so I'm really surprised because such a huge bridge has no leakage of water on the floor here as you can see it's, it's completely dry so you know I don't feel anything any kind of water coming from top to bottom so this is surrounding area is very green and very beautiful area we are going towards other end of this bridge and uh, I will walk you through to other side of the bridge as well so it's quite masterpiece you know I would say it's a masterpiece of construction the price is 500 million euros they spend on this bridge 500 million euros so it's quite a big amount of money We are here at other end of the bridge so at this point you can see there is an other structure here you can see it looks like fully closed and packed which is actually closed so on top you have water going on and at the bottom you have L barrier crossing this bridge yes so you can see so we have like more two bridge together one is at the bottom and the other is at the top here you can see that so this is a little walkway so people can walk around but it's quite a nice area you can see there so you have a water crossing down and then this bridge has actually two parts see you can see that this is one over the water and the other over the land over the land is this area and over the water is this area which is quite small area so the reason of building this bridge is ground level as you can see far end we have elevated ground so the purpose of building this bridge to cross the water from this valley so from here from you can see elevated ground to the other end and we also have the same end from other side as I am pointing my finger. So this was a quite deep valley. It was not possible for them to cross the water while using or while building a canal. So they decided to build a bridge over this valley. So this is, you can see that. This river called Elbe River, Elbe, uh, river Elbe yes, is a very famous river in Germany and it's quite long. The length of 
this river I'm not really sure to be honest so it could be seen if you go on Wikipedia for example people do fishing lot of fishing here so it's also a good spot for fishing to do fishing you should have a license here you cannot do fishing I'm literally under the under the bridge so it's, it's quite big it feels so big and uh, the pillar you can see pillars are not ordinary pillar these are like kind of a wall I can say it's like quite wide not small and the good thing about German rivers they keep proper check on their rivers they have proper banks because most of the time they experience floods in order to protect their cities from floods they have built proper banks so they have treated their rivers very well by putting bank wall, maybe growing grass, maybe putting some, you know, earth on the sides. So, here you can see this is rather in the shape of these pillars of base, I would say. So, where you have your bridge rested is also important, and this has been decided to built in this way and here you can see uh, empty space through these pillars so this is I would say the cost saving you know, they try to save some cost rather than putting some steel or maybe concrete they just left it as it is and it also look beautiful you know aesthetically is also good here you can see I will take you to other side of the river other side of the bridge uh, I think we are not going to cross this bridge because I guess we should have come from other side so we are here different side people are walking they are walking with their dogs you can see them so it's quite nice feeling